Once upon a time there was a brother and sister. Their apartment was on the outskirts of town. And beyond the forest there was a real cemetery. My brother and sister had only heard of it before, and they had never been to the cemetery themselves. So their grandfather died, and they buried him in the winter. It was then that my brother and sister visited the cemetery for the first time. And the second time they were already in the spring, on Parents' A.E. Day. My mother explained to them that on Parents' A.E. Day it is customary for everyone to go to the cemetery and remember the dead. We went to the cemetery. My mother tended my father's grave. There were a lot of people around. And all of them, for some reason, left sweets on the graves of their relatives. The children were very surprised. Why put the candy down? My mother explained that it was their custom to put candy on the grave to honor the deceased. The One dead man will sit be at home pleased. bored. I really want something sweet. But there is nothing. Mom and dad will be late, around 11 o'clock. Listen, let's go to the cemetery and get some candy, and then we'll go home. Mom and dad won't even notice. My brother suggested. Terribly. What's so scary about it? It's scary out there at night, and it's not even dark yet. Well, let's go, but quickly. We went to the cemetery. They go looking for candy, but they are not anywhere. Other people must have taken it. Our animals. Suddenly they see there are sweets lying on one of the graves. Expensive. Ten pieces. Only there is a problem there is a high fence around it, over and the gate said is my locked. brother. And maybe you shouldn't. Why not? The nurse asked. But my brother did. It was not difficult at all. He took the candy and passed it over the fence to his sister to shove into her pockets. I climbed back up. He climbed over, but the corner of his denim jacket got caught in a crack in the fence and stuck firmly in it. The boy hung up. His feet barely touched the ground. He stood on the fence again. I started to pull at the corner of my jacket, but it stuck even deeper in the crack. It was almost dark now. Children don't know what to do. My sister began to whine with fear. Then her brother wriggled out of his jacket. They began to pull the jacket together. They pulled and pulled and pulled. My brother quickly put on his jacket then the and the nurse screamed away. as her foot landed in a deep hole. The gopher must have dug a hole here. The girl stretches out her leg, but it does not work. Her brother began to help her. Somehow we got it out. Run on. It was only a short distance to the road, but the children couldn't squeeze past the fences. In one place snooping it's too close to the fences clung to each other. In another place poked the same thing. We should have climbed over, but they were already afraid to climb over here. They ran and ran and couldn't squeeze in anywhere. And in general, some kind of labyrinth, from it's which quite there dark is no now, way to get except out. Except for the moon. In the moonlight, they saw a grandfather. His name is Help. Help? My grandfather came up and asked. What will I get for helping you? Anything? Just let us out. My grandfather went over and opened two iron fences with his hands. They grated as they did so. The children ran out and were already going home, but grandpa says. And the deal? What's the deal? Did you promise to grant my every wish? Well. What is your wish? Give me my candy. My grandchildren brought them to me. My brother and sister looked closely at my grandfather and realized that it was a dead man. 
They gave him all his candy in fear and ran home. They no longer go to the cemetery at all.